Hello, everybody. <clears throat> I'm Katherine Stewart with Designs and Expression, and today I'm going to show you how I used my Stampin' Up! watercolor pencils to color my roses that you've seen in those car on those cards and in the pictures I posted the other day. Um, I didn't have my things out that I needed, so I'm going to grab those real quick and then I'll explain what you need. Okay. You're going to need your watercolor pencils. You're going to need, being I don't have any stays on, hey Lisa, black ink left. My pad dried up, so I have to order some the stays on refill. I'm going to use the black Stampin' Up! embossing powders. And then I'm going to use the Versamark ink pad. And I have my Boston Buddy. And I got a little paintbrush to knock off that um, some stuff whenever it's on the around where I don't want. Let me grab a smaller. Here we go. I needed a smaller brush. Here's one a little smaller. So I'm also going to get out. I'm so unprepared. I apologize. I'm going to get out my cardstock. And I hide stuff. Y'all, it took me forever to find where I hid my grid paper a little bit ago. I was like, okay, I know I have it right here somewhere. <laughs> and I could not find it. And I finally found it. So let me grab some of this <clears throat> paper here. Next time, I'll be better prepared. I was eating lunch and feeding my grandbaby and I had, had put her down for her nap. So it took me a little longer than usual. All right, move some stuff around. Okay, I'm gonna get my card stock and I'm gonna get my stamp set out. We're gonna, um, instead of doing that rose, I am gonna do this set of roses and color these and this is in the the petal palette and uh, I think I'm gonna um, even emboss the bird uh, watercolor the bird so I'm gonna stamp a few images for y'all I think that is to change it up a little bit and I'm gonna get them stuck to my blocks and uh, have those ready to stamp down oh that's the uh, y'all have to forgive me i almost said that's the wrong way but that was the right way you don't want to see my criteria love the stamp yes it is. i have stuff everywhere because i have been playing a lot lately so i understand um, I think I have a smaller block. All right, let's see. So I'm going to stick those in. This is a, um, I'm going to, my new ones, I will be able to add my sticker to the stamp because they come out with a stronger adhesive um, or a, what, a cling where they'll cling better. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to stamp several, several images and emboss um, at the same time. And y'all have to forgive me. I had to get move my... I went for an eye checkup and my... Uh, I have to have bifocals now and I received my glasses yesterday. So I'm hoping... It's kind of a little different. <laughs> so I'm hoping I don't... Um, miss stamp anything by looking through these <laughs> so y'all just laugh with me if you see something funny <laughs> all right i'm just inking up i like to turn mine upside down and i'm just inking it up with this clear embossing powder and uh, i'm just gonna today i'm just gonna show you how i watercolored with my pencils and then um, later today I will post 
the <clears throat> excuse me the card that I build with this. Okay, just get them all inked up. And you have a little time before this dries. So I'm trying to hurry. I don't want to wait too long. Okay, and I'm going to get my scratch sheet of paper out. And I'm going to put underneath. And I'm going to take my black embossing powder and sprinkle all over I like the look that using the embossing powder gives. Uh, you can use the, to be faster, you can use the uh, stays on ink, but I just, I like the, the look, this black embossing powder, this way, how it does. And I'm gonna take my little brush. You see, I forgot to use my uh, embossing buddy, so I'm gonna take and do this. To, Get that little sprinkles off where I don't want it. There we go. There might be still some, but that just adds to me some interest to your image. Okay. I'm going to put all this back in here. All right, I'm going to set that aside. And I'm going to turn on my heat gun so it may be a little bit loud. I apologize now for that. Um, they're not just real loud. I got embossing powder everywhere. Um, so I'm going to try to do it, heat it up a little bit first, my gun, so it won't blow the embossing powders around. I'm just going to take it. Can y'all see that? And you'll see, see where it starts turning it shiny. There it goes. It's starting to turn it shiny. I wonder if y'all can see that on camera. Yeah, y'all do. That's pretty cool. If you don't like the loudness of this, you're welcome to fast forward. Well, you can't fast forward, it's live. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> but when you're watching the replay, you can. Or you can push mute. Look at that bird, it's gonna be cute. almost done. I find that using the embossing powder also kind of helps keep corral my, if I get a little too much water. And so I thought that was neat. Okay. And I'm going to let it dry a second. Let it, or let it cool down. I'll make sure I have it all embossed. And it looks like I do. Yep. Let it cool off a little bit. So while it's cooling off, I'm going to grab uh, my aqua pen. The, I think there's, there's two different sizes. And this is the more... Let me show y'all. See how there's two different sizes? I like the skinnier one because it's such a small area versus this fat one bigger brush. So I'm going to use this smaller brush. I have my water in it. I'm going to grab my colors. This is the watercolor pencils and it has the real red, Calypso coral, pumpkin pie, daffodil delight, old olive, Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point, rich razzleberry, melon mambo, early espresso, basic gray, the basic black and whisper white. And I learned some new things how you could use the whisper white on black cardstock. I thought was pretty cool. So and you're not you don't want to drop your pencils 
either. Let me pull my chair up. Okay, so what do I want to color my bird? I think I'm going to color do my bird in the uh, Daffodil Delight. So you're going to take your Daffodil Delight, and uh, mine's still kind of sharpened. And I'm going to add this part of his wing. Can y'all see? Let me make sure y'all see. Okay. I'm going to put it dark in this part of his wing. I'm going to color it dark. Now, right here, I'm just going to put a little dark spot here. And I'm going to kind of color his belly real light. You don't have to use a lot of it because you, when, when you add the water, you can kind of bring it to where you want it. But I like mine to show up a little better, so I'm going to put... Okay, now watch and let's see how this comes out. Go ahead and take and squeeze, get a little water out. Yep, yeah, it's, I think, yeah, there it is. It's coming out. And I'm going to take and just dab it on there and just kind of move it around. And if you don't want that much color, you can wipe it off on your paper some isn't that cool and see that it I like like I was telling you that embossing powder from uh, it keeps it from running to me from running and I add a little of too much water sometimes and see I'm taking off some of that yellow I'm kind of I want his belly to be a little bit lighter and I'm going to grab a little bit of that and add that in there. Isn't that cool? I like that. Okay, now, and if you wanted to go back and add a little more dark spots, like right here on his wing, you can. And then right here. And I'm not no professional at, at this. This is just what I've learned by playing with them here lately and shading and all. Isn't that cool? So... There may be other, all kind of other different ways. I, I don't know. But I thought this was cool. So, the roses. I think I'm going to color those roses. Um, I think the real red for Valentine's Day coming. I'll try, I'm going to try to do something for Valentine's. So, I'm going to, let's see how I want to. I like to start off of, like at the ends of the petals light and right here at the where it's going towards the center of the rose I color a little dark and you don't have to color the whole image in you just use you know a little because that color spreads around when you add that water to it that is what's cool it's all cool. <laughs> hey, and you know, there is a lot of great things in our Occasions catalog that you can um, purchase now to watercolor. There's a lot of floral stuff and uh, this, even like the little Easter bunny in there, the little duck. That that's gonna, I'm, I have that one coming in and it is going to be so cute. I cannot wait to try this watercolor pencils on those images for Easter. So if you if you haven't checked out the occasions catalog, you need to do that. And if you don't have a demonstrator and you need one, let me know. I will send you a catalog. Um and you will be able to see it all, but you also can see everything online and I'm going to post the link in uh, the comments to my online store after I'm finished with this live. I would do it now, but I don't want to bore y'all with stopping. And But see how I'm just adding that little color? And then I'm going to go kind of if I want a little bit of light up here. A little light up there. I think, I think that's a leaf. Sometimes I have trouble telling what that is. Oh, I missed this whole rose right here. Okay, so just kind of add you some color. Y'all, hope I'm not boring y'all. This gives such an amazing effect. 
And you know, this has the, um, I'm going to go ahead and add my old olive to my leaves where I can do the water coloring, coloring all at once, adding the water. So I'm just going to scratch on some green. It's very simple. I mean, you just kind of throw you some color on there like this. This is what I did. I just played and played the other day and had so much fun. It was relaxing. Um, I can't tell if that's the leaves right here or the petals. I think that's the petals. So I'm going to add some more real red. I think that's petals. Yep, that's petals. Okay, let's get started with the water. I'm going to start with the leaves. And you can get it as light and or as dark as you want. Look how simple and easy this is. Let me add, squeeze that for a little more water. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, and today, uh, not today, well, every day until March 31st is celebration. We have our celebration going on. You, if you order $50 in product before taxes and shipping from the annual or the, um, annual or the occasions catalog, you can earn a free item out of celebration. And if I'm repeating myself, forgive me. Uh, um, if you would like more information just let me know I can give you more information on that look what you can add if you want those leaves a little darker add you a little more color add a little more look right there right there I want a little darker leaves throw you in some color Oh, I love this. This is going to be pretty. Now, my roses, I'm going to want, I don't want light, light roses. I kind of want mine dark. Not the whole rose, but I'm going to show you. And look, you can just color it like this. <laughs> it's very simple to do this. color in there all right and let me see let me add I want a little more darker towards this center of mine for sure and you can just kind of throw that color in there like that and then you can also if it's Got a lot of color. You can spread some of that like this, like that. All right. Get it in there. What do y'all think so far? What do you think about this? I think that's something you're going to like. And you see that little mark? I bet you an eraser will get that little mark that I got out of line right there. I bet that would work. So, look at that. Isn't that pretty? I really have been enjoying the watercolor. And then I'm going to add a little darker right here. And let's kind of smooth it out. more right there. Now I'm going to leave some light spaces for my shadowing. Alright. 
and you don't have to do as much shadowing as I am. I just, that's how I, I like it. I like to add some. There we go. What do you guys think about that? Hi, Lisa. I have two Lisas on. How are y'all? <laughs> okay. And you can do... I'm going to show y'all some of the other colors in this palette. Look at this rich Razzleberry. We're going to color, do the watercoloring here. With these, we're going to use this rich Razzleberry. It's a very pretty color. Ooh, I oh, look at me. I'm coloring the leaves. Telling y'all, see, it's these glasses. I'm going to blame it on them. <laughs> I was coloring the leaves as like they were little buds. All right. It might have a rich razzleberry and an old olive tone to that now. <laughs> I'll squeeze that and drop a little water. And then if you add too much water, you can always take your napkin and dab off. And then... Uh, look at that. That is gorgeous. I love this. All right, that is what I wanted to show y'all today, um, how to do watercoloring with the watercolor pencils and the aqua painter. Um, so like I said, if you need any uh, more information, just comment below. I'd be glad to answer all the questions. And um, if you're new to my Facebook page, finding me in a, uh, have lots more questions you you know leave me a comment and don't forget about celebration we only have till march 31st so get those orders in you don't want to make things are going really fast i mean uh we have already sold out of three product three or four products that i know of right now that we won't be you know, out of the celebration but there's still a bunch more beautiful items to choose from for your free item with a $50 purchase before uh, taxes and shipping. And uh, so if you need any catalogs or anything, mine will be in next week. Um, and you do, do not have a demonstrator in need one. Just let me know and I'll mail you one out. Thank y'all and have a good day.